I will be ruining your childhood one video by one video. Everything you learned is a lie. Everything you've been through is a lie. Your parents are a lie. You're a lie. I'm a lie. Disney, yeah, I gotta explain this. So okay, the Nemo's what's going on? Can't celebrate Mother's Day outside of a graveyard is because a barracuda came and nearly clapped his entire bloodline. One problem. Yeah, that's facts. Barracuda don't eat clownfish, but you know who does? According to extensive research, Google, clownfish are known cannibals that will spawn kill and eat their own young. Oh, but that's not all. In clownfish society, the females are bigger, stronger, and more dominant than the guys. So if Marlin's wife went on a murking spree, I'm talking full cannibal lector, he would have been too weak to stop her. So what oh if his my wife god. Casey, man, I use that joke a lot. What if his wife squad wiped his family and then he was so traumatized that he blamed an imaginary barracuda for the mass genocide of his children? Yo! And what if as a coping mechanism, he pretended that he was able to save one, which he named Nemo, a name that literally means nobody. It actually makes... <laughs> Yo, imagine being named nothing, bro. Literally. What the... Yo, what? Clownfish eat their own selves? Yo, why is this timeline actually making sense, bro? This is not supposed to No, no, I'm not believing it. Disney is always right, bro. Disney is real life stuff. I, I'm, bro, I'm not makes believing sense. this, bro. Makes sense because if his wife was actually killed in front of him, according to clownfish rules, he would turn into a female to replace her. That could explain what? his severe trust issues after the love of his life erased his entire family. Disney, you have 24 hours to respond. Or God damn. First dark facts about finding Nemo. Nemo would have suffered a brutal death once he got flushed. As a saltwater fish, his body would be used to pulling in water. But in a sewer plant with fresh water, that water would just get forced into his body. Basically, he'd get internally waterboarded until he died nah. a painful water intoxicated death. Finding Nemo what convinced millions hell? of dumb kids that they could flush their fish back into the ocean. What they really did was commit unintentional homicide because their fish would get eviscerated by sewer treatment machines. But why would you even do that? You're a murderer. And Bruce cries Damn. about never meeting his father. There's truth in that. I've never done Some that before. Sharks will give it up to so many guys that one litter of shark pups can have five dads. Even if his father didn't dip God with a future damn! pro athlete, Bruce would have no way of knowing who his real dad was because his mother was for the trenches. If you rewatch, damn sharks! Hey sharks! Hey sharks! Uh, uh girl sharks! Y'all need to chill, like, like what you doing out here clapping cheeks, like, like, uh, bro. Uh, uh, bro. Nah, these, these sharks need to chill. They need to chill out. Finding Nemo, you'll realize that Nigel the Pelican last saw Nemo seemingly dead in the fish bag. This scene is the last time we see him, so there's a good chance he went the rest of his life thinking Nemo got killed in front of him, and he probably blames himself for it. Damn, that's true, male, I remember Marlin that. became the dominant female once his wife died, and since there were no other clownfish around, he would have done something to Nemo that no amount of fish therapy would ever heal. Dory would have had a caudal spine that could severely injure people or even Marlin if she forgot to be careful. I mean, not like she forgets a whole lot anyway. Dory could be injured because those spines could cause deep wounds that result in swelling, discoloration, and infections. On top of that, she'd be toxic enough to poison people. Although I've heard people oh say the same God. thing about a voice actor. Okay, fair enough. I should probably explain this. As a clownfish, Nemo would be a saltwater fish. And water moves from higher concentration salt. to lower concentration. Stay with me. I swear to Tom Brady, this is going to make sense. So a fish surrounded by saltwater means there's a high concentration of water inside the fish. So high to low, water would leave the fish. So to avoid losing water and joining his mother in the afterlife, Nemo would constantly be taking water in while his kidneys pumped the salt out. Now if you put the Nemo hell? in fresh water, the opposite happens. In fresh water, there would now be a higher concentration of water outside of Nemo's body. So high to low, water okay. would get pushed into Nemo's cells. But since Nemo spent his entire life in the ocean, he'd be used to swallowing water the way an alcoholic stepfather swallows Budweiser. Oh so Nemo God. would become overhydrated, his cells would fill with water, and he would be dead before the sequel. So no, fish don't really drown, but they can die of water intoxication, and it's not a good way to get series finale. Since what? I ruined this movie for a lot of people, his facts finding Nemo got right. Marlin would probably survive the jellyfish because as a clownfish, he's covered in mucus that makes him resistant to sea anemones and homicidal smuckers fish. Also, uh, the scene where okay. he tells Nemo to brush against the anemone before school is accurate. They brush to build immunity and get the sea anemone used to their presence. The sea anemone, get, anemone, anemone, get the what? Them every time they ah! wish they'd survive, but it'd be annoying. The East Australian is real, and every summer, sea turtles use it to travel from the Great Barrier Reef to Sydney. Females will use it to return to the same beach year after year to lay eggs. Also, Crush was not capping about his age. There are documented cases of sea turtles living to a century and a half, and one allegedly survived 400 trips around the sun. Bro, I want to be a turtle? Bruce like a junkie for nose powder. His eyes turn black like a demon guppy. Shark eyes actually turn white when they're about to put someone on the news because they roll their eyes back to protect themselves. In the beginning, Damn. the girl defends her eggs against a barracuda while Marlin begs her to come inside. In clownfish society, females are tougher and more dominant, so it makes sense that she'd be the one more likely to defend them. Her mistake was that not only are barracuda one of the fastest fish, they respond to motion, so her darting towards the eggs kept her out of the sequel. If Lion King were scientifically Sheesh. accurate, it would just the be lion. case after case. First of all, what? darker names are more desirable in lion society, so Scar should have been king to begin with. Next, when a new male lion becomes leader, the first thing he does is murder all the children from his previous successor, meaning Scar would have personally aborted Simba and Nala. Wait, what? Wait, that's for real? Li wait, lions do that? 
after all the children from his previous successor, meaning Scar would have personally aborted Simba and Nala. And my lion don't do that. My lion, hey, he's noble. He, my lion don't do that. We don't do that over here. We don't do that. We don't do that, bro. Brings me to my next point. Mufasa was the alpha lion, meaning any cubs we saw were fathered by him. Especially since we never see any other adult male lions. So That's yeah, facts. Simba there is no other adults. Not distant, twice removed cousins. Not stuck in the dryer step siblings. I'm talking full on West Virginia family reunion blood siblings. Oh, this scene shit. would be a case and a half. But before he hakuna Hurtadas, Nala would have killed Simba right here. Remember, Nala was starving and was fighting over what was a limited resource. Not this kind of starving, but for food. And when lions are hungry enough, they'll reach a state of psychosis where they'll do literally anything for food, even cannibalizing cubs. That oh my god. Fighting experience means Nala would have folded him like a backyard lawn chair. He also would have lost a scar because, again, no fighting experience. Even if Simba won, Simba was gone for at least three years. Meaning Simba would murder what any child scar. I really all want to know what happened to Mufasa. Yo, wait, hold on, bro. So you're telling me. You're telling me Lion King was made in Alabama? In Ohio? Nah, bro. I, bro, I don't believe it, bro. Disney is always right. Body. Technically, the answer is in the movie, so watch this. Wait, what? Technically, years. Meaning Simba would murder any child Scar had in this time. I want to know what happened to Mufasa's body. Technically, oh, Mufasa. in the movie, so watch this. Okay. Yeah, what did happen to his body? Birds like the vulture and marabou stork would have eaten his dead body. But there's a catch. Oh. Vultures have really weak beaks and feet, so they would have had to wait for an animal to tear him apart to make it easier for them. The question is, who got to his body first? These are the primary suspects. Yeah, hyenas, bro. Competition, not for food. Lions don't like the taste of hyena meat and probably vice versa. So safe to say they probably didn't eat Mufasa. African wild dogs are such efficient hunters that they don't have to resort to scavenging. So they're out. Jackals are notorious mm. scavengers, but again, they wouldn't have found the taste of lion meat appealing. So they wouldn't have done it either. Here's where I'm going to mess you up. Worms, maggots, and corpse beetles would have gotten to his body first. Likely the same bugs that what the hell? Were the ones that defiled his father's carcass. They would have created openings that would have made it easier for these guys to finish the job. And since what guys like the, the lamb gear specialize in eating bones, after a few days, there'd be nothing left. Yo! Scar or the hyenas this is ruining my childhood. Bugs. Send this to a friend to ruin their childhood. I'm actually hoping I nah. get a comment like that because I really want to talk about it. So we all can agree that Lion King was based off the Shakespeare play Hamlet. I do not remember a okay. letter, but I do know there's a scene where he holds a skull. In Hamlet, the skull belonged to your King Hamlet's jester. So if Scar holding a skull is a reference to this, we can assume that it was one of his jesters that he probably got tired of and killed. Makes sense because that skull is too small to be a lion's, but it's actually perfect baboon size. So if we put uh, the pieces together, maybe Scar had a baboon as a jester, got tired of his nonsense, canceled him, and now keeps his suddenly skull as an R-rated keepsake. That would explain why he now forces Zazu to entertain him because the old entertainment guy is now dead. And again, since Lion King is based damn. off Hamlet, this actually makes more sense than Scar keeping the skull of his murdered brother. Or maybe I'm just overanalyzing a kids movie from 1994 because yeah, I probably honestly that. nothing better to do. But yeah, I like probably that, my boy. Going with that. First images in nature, you're gonna wish. First you images saw. in nature. Blue shedding its velvet. A jaguar on some Junjutsu Sukiyomi. What the, the hell? Of the blue bottle fly. Yeah, I was. Telescope fish. Man's tripped acid. Stumbled into what the. the wait, what is that? What is this? What? Yo, that that's gotta be probably the most ugliest thing I ever seen in my life. Some shit that he can never take back. A moth covered in mind controlling fungus that basically turns it into a zombie. Ew. The Basically, an Australian mushroom marinated with Lucifer's love nectar. Seaweed what that the does fuck? Not look like seaweed. The skeleton of a pufferfish. If oh you no! Nah. Make sure your friends do too. First image is that if I have to see, so do you. A fungus bro, called more Cyanaria polymorpha. AKA that's a zombie! Fingers, an anemone. No, that's a zombie, bro. Uh, bro, did he just say a anemone again, bro? What is his words? Armada. This the father of the Takata? Months to heal and take a Tuna Makata? find it. A giant isopod in reason 300, I'm staying out of the ocean. A snail snake eel. They can grow to three and a half feet long. <laughs> Bro, that's this almost as long as. Never mind. You realize just how close to death this person was. And in case you don't see it, there it is. A harpy oh, eel. Oh, no. I don't know how I feel about this. Yeah, this isn't any better. What a is that? Fish. Fun fact one actually bit of. What the fuck? That's. Why does he have human teeth? Bro needs to go to the dentist. He needs to fuck. What? There's no way, there's no way that's real. There's no way that's real, bro. Man's testicles off, so the more Wait, you know, what are you just saying? Haku fish. Fun fact, one actually bit a man's testicles off, so the more you know. A town in Brisbane what was stalked by a giant kangaroo. People didn't take it seriously until this picture surfaced. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. I am not gonna say it. I oh no. Nah. You're not a kangaroo. Bro, what are y'all doing if a kangaroo just comes and squares up on you? Like, like what y'all doing, bro? Are y'all fighting or y'all running? Like, be honest, bro. I, I'm, I'm dipping the fuck out of there, bro. Cause that shit about it. Kick me to West Africa. Make sure you hit that link. You proud of yourself? Not really. First image is that you are going to unfollow me for. 
Someone told Bro. me that beluga whales look like they have lost human souls trapped in their bodies and haven't been able to look at them the same. Oh Those my gosh. That, but knowing that doesn't make this picture any better. An owl about to catch Yo. a human body. And if you doubt that an owl can take on a cat, they will use Nah, owls are ruthless, bro. Speaking of owls, I know that. nature gave them feathers for our sake, not theirs. This picture's bad enough until you realize those are its own guts in its mouth. And looking at those lines, they have zero intention of mercying them. They're going to watch Ew. itself. Up. Here's a reminder that this prehistoric feathery demon is as tall as some people. They have a longer wingspan than LeBron, and I will see this in my nightmares tonight. Oh, this is hell what no, bro. Looks like. You're welcome. Oh, slots are ugly. Goat. As a LeBron fan, I love ghosts, but if this earless demon ever pulls up <laughs> to my front door, I'm calling the National Guard. Yo, this I'm is God. why you never do face swap with a chicken. And here you have a Ew. crow warning his dead friend. Crows are highly intelligent and can form strong emotional bonds with members of their I was wrong. Oh, some images that you're probably going to unfollow me for. If you can't find a snake in this picture, don't worry. Neither could this bird. Oh, and speaking of birds, oh, shit. this is what a baby pigeon looks like. I've never Ew. seen this in my life, and with any luck, I'll never Get have to see it again. that shit on my face, bro! A wraparound tree spider. A hairless baboon. This. This. Bro. I might have to change my ugliest thing to this, bro. What y'all think? What, what, what's the ugliest one we've seen so far? God damn. Like, what are your nipples? You know what? I don't this even want to know. I don't okay, even want to know. Okay, major trigger warning right here. A certain named Toad giving birth. Just a lion, right? Ew. Look a little closer. There's oh. a hyena right there, and the lion has no idea. Hyenas have been known to hide inside elephant carcasses. What the fuck are you what doing in there? In casket. The inside of a kangaroo pouch. No fur, no carpet, just a fleshy purse with a joey inside. Oh, the nah. The mouth of an emerald boa. Bro, this is crazy. Oh my gosh, bro. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. I had to ruin your childhood because I got my own childhood ruins. I, I, you guys had to come with me. Like, I'm not going to just watch myself. Like, are you dumb? <laughs> Yo, if you guys enjoyed that video, make sure to leave a like down below.